Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to give you a little heads up before this video starts. This is a call I do with my mom in a small group. I've been getting a lot of good feedback, so I wanted to move this over to YouTube. So if you like this, please let us know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and anything that she talks about in the video, I'm going to put in the description below. All right, take it easy. We started with just you knowing absolutely nothing about KDP. Right getting your account and then trying to build a process for you. So I wanted you to start with doing the book covers because I was like, this is a way for you to see like kind of what the majority of KDP is, is creating covers. The internals are like kind of the next step. You were fooling around with that. I shouldn't say you're fooling around. You figured out how to do that. Then we made an actual like listing together. I kind of walked you through that process and then you started making books. That didn't take very long, correct? No, because I it started Wednesday, and by Friday I did have a book up there. Yeah, so just showing the speed of the process of actually like getting a listing up is not that difficult. Getting a listing to sell, that's like the process of, or the next step in the process. Okay. The strategy was to use the alphabet books or the monogram books. Um, I don't know if those are going to work, but just as far as understanding and trying to build a system that works for you and just finding all the flaws or the holes or the problems that you have, that's now what I'm trying to work on is just, if you have an idea, how can you execute on that idea? Went on a cruise, we've done, I feel like a million other things. It feels like forever since we've done this, even though it's been probably just a week. Yeah. Um, so just catching back up with everybody and like, what is your next step? What is your next plan? What are you attempting to do? And then we'll work from there. You said you had some computer problems and just tracking that stuff. That's another part of the system that we don't really focus on. We more focus on just like how to help people find gaps in the market. But that's probably something that a lot of people are struggling with. We know people are having a hard time keeping things organized. I'm assuming that's yes. the same problem that you're having. Um, working with that's you to good. try to figure out a solution to that, that works for you because we have stuff on the google doc it's pretty easy for us to maneuver all that stuff um but not so much for you so just trying to come up with some solutions that work for you is what we can kind of work on today but okay great you still are doing the alphabet book uh monogram a to z journals correct yeah i have like two sets now okay so far and you're working on a new set now is that what you're doing um yeah well no i'm working on the second set okay none of those got approved yet so i don't know okay so you're in the middle of the second set of yes okay so the first set got up or did you have problems or you have rejections I, well i had problems with the cover and then i figured that out working this way were you like looking over my shoulder and just asking questions like if i copy and paste something and you go how did you copy and paste it that fast or how did you xyz that fast like i think that will show me like where you struggle and probably a lot of other people are struggling and then i can go okay we need to explain this and help people speed this process up it's probably hard for me and Nathaniel to recognize all that stuff because we grew up with computers like right. it's so second nature to us to do all that stuff that it i know there's people watching us that i'm doing stuff and it just like you said how we split the screens and put them up so close yeah. together and it was so quick like it, you not knowing how to do that was like oh, okay well okay so basically a funny thing that's probably funny to you not to me but even like how you have the tabs at the top of the computer to show the pages i did not know that you could click on and drag that and move it side to side and order your pages like i did not even know that that is very helpful but I didn't know you could do that. I mean, that's probably something you never even like thought about. Like yeah. how you, so a lot of that, a lot of my problem is like I type in the Google Sheets and then it's like, oh my goodness, like how do I find that back now? Like it's, I have a lot of computer problems. I don't know if those are what you'd call computer problems, but uh, navigation problems. So, but I'm, I'm watching you and learning and seeing how you do that. And then that's, yeah, so that's why I said, like, anytime you see us do something, just like make a note and then I'll 
have it recorded here. And then what I'll probably do is like chop up bits of video and then post them on our YouTube channel. Cause I, I'm assuming if you're having that problem, a lot of people are having that problem. And I think that's why sometimes when people watch this and they go, oh, this is great information, but I just, I can't seem to put this into action. That's what we're trying to break down is like, wh where are people getting stuck? And then how can we help them like get over that hurdle? This process of working through all this stuff with you is enlightening to you. <laughs> I mean, cause me, I feel like I'm stupid or whatever, because it seems so silly. Like most people would know that, but like, I don't. So. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't think it's just you. I do think it's a lot of people. And I think it's just a lot of that gets brushed under like, oh, everybody should know this, but it's, like I said, I've been doing keywords for 15 years. Nadina has been doing art for probably just that long. There's stuff that we just overlook that over 15 years we've learned yeah. and it's just been ingrained in right. us. So like, that's why it's hard for me to go that far back to the beginning and go, okay, if someone was starting off, like what problems would they have? Me, I just go, okay, find a landing zone and see the patterns. Like it can't get any simpler than that. Right. But then it's like, okay, well, they don't even know how to like do the internals. They don't know how to do the cover. Like there's a lot of those steps where we're just like, oh, that's so ingrained in us and that we've figured that out for so long. And now we have other people doing it that it's like, it, it's a non-issue to us, but it's a big issue. For people getting right. started well i got like it's feels i feel like a big accomplishment to get the internals and then <laughs> the cover and everything but i did it but then there's still so many like quick easy steps that you know how to navigate around that makes it slow for me but that i mean i'm working through that so yeah if we did the presentation last night about like systems versus processes and then just kind of breaking down our story of pod I wonder if how interesting it would be for you to go back and watch that because I think you were here for most of that like you weren't probably privy to what me and Nathan were doing in the office together for so long but it would be interesting for you to watch that and just go oh it's you don't learn this stuff overnight it did take them a long time yeah, you remember no, us eight months that. yeah 12 hour days back to back to back working together just trying to figure this thing out so just giving yourself grace and knowing that like you're not going to figure this out immediately that's why I say like a lot of stuff that you're doing doesn't doesn't matter that's not the right way to say it but it's like i'm more just trying to show you like through time and doing things over and over and over again you will figure out the problem areas and then be able to fix those problem areas right i've said I this mean, too before like you don't just as a child get up and start walking right. you get up you stumble you fall there's a, a process in understanding how to walk but then once you kind of get it you go oh, okay now i got it now i gotta do stairs i gotta do all these other things yeah. i gotta do now get old and I need to apply metrics and do yoga to get everything stretched out. It's just a, a constantly learning process and then finding a way for you to systemize it and actually implement it. So keeping things organized, that's like, we have so many solutions to that. That's just have to go, okay, which one of these will work for my mother? Obviously, I think the Google thing is the easiest because that's what we use, but you're having a hard time doing that. So what is another way that we can well, do this I've to learned make it to, easier? Now I've learned to title my title my stuff so like try to try to be consistent on what I'm titling it so I know oh LZ that's means sort of landing zone for me and then uh all that stuff so just that I am trying to figure out how to organize my stuff and how to find back the page that I just worked on and now I can't find it so it's like yeah maybe okay, just consolidating that all that stuff that you're doing and just to figure out like maybe not have a whole bunch of spreadsheets, but just have one. And then that way you can find the one and then each spreadsheet can have its own tab. So that when you go, okay, I'm doing alphabet stuff, that's all on one tab. I'm doing whatever the next idea is, that's all on one tab. Or is that gonna be Oh, two? I don't know, you can make more than one page on it and see. So I'm so used to like shuffling a physical paper. Like it's so much easier for me to you see me, I'm writing notes. Then you said, oh, don't do that. Which, yeah, just because it makes it way harder. Because, yeah. like, how are you going to remember where right. you put any of that stuff? You're right. That's why I said, like, the videos are probably not the easiest thing. But when I have time, I wanted you to go through and, like, watch them and go, okay, these are parts that are very good for me to, like, go back to and understand. Then I could just, like, clip that and then put it on YouTube and then make a playlist just for you. So you can go and throw and be like, I don't remember how to do X, Y, Z. I know I made a video on this and then just go back instead of trying to now, like this is already filled and I don't know how yeah. many pages in here is filled. Yeah. Like you're already, yeah. 
that's way too much information to go be going back through. But I think writing it down is probably good for you because it helps you remember it. Like more than the act of like going back and looking at what you're writing down, just the act of writing it down probably helps you remember yeah. all that stuff. Um, so what I'm doing here is just hopefully setting up a spreadsheet that you can use as your core and then build off of. So I just think for now, all your KDP journals or books could be in one place because all the information is very similar. So I'm gonna try to do this now with you. Ultimately, I don't know how you want this set up. I'm gonna make some suggestions to try to make things easier. Okay. Um, each one of those journals, like the A, B, C, D journals, pretty much have all the same keywords, correct? Basically, yeah. So I would, whatever information that you're using any of those spreadsheets for, put here and put them in the columns and then just run the information across this way. And then if you feel like you need another Excel document, just open up a new tab. So if you click down right, here. Wait, okay. Um, you know, I'm, my vision is not the greatest here. That's not a problem. <laughs> so down here, there's the plus button. Yes. That just adds another sheet. Uh, okay. And if yeah, you yeah, right yeah. click, you can rename it and then whatever you want. So that other idea that you had, you can have down here and just name that whatever that idea is. Even okay. if it's a quick idea that you have, I would still put that information somewhere because if that book works, you're gonna wanna go back to kind of where you had the information and right. just go from there instead of going, oh, now I gotta go back and pull all these keywords and remember what I, I was doing. All right. It'll just be here. And yeah, so I had the like the, the running list of the wingman sorter or whatever, you, I don't know what you're calling that where you put the words in and it keyword tool keyword tool so i had that information like on a sheet but like i put it on a, a yeah that's what i'm about to show you now okay so here's all the however you want to set this up if you want to put like the landing zone here lz and then you copy and paste whatever the amazon um link is you can put it here and then um I don't know what else information that you're putting, but you can put. Well, what I would put the name, like what those actual words were. So say it's J journal, or whatever, something. Well, another thing I was keeping track of was, did it, how many, the number that it came up with, how many pages, like 10,000 or 130 kind of thing. Cause that was okay. If it was pages or the results, the results, sorry. So if the results is 135, then I know, okay, I can go a little further on that. If the results is 10,000, you got a niche down. Yeah, exactly. So that number helped me right now. I don't know in the future, maybe I don't need that number, but right now that's helping me. Um, I, I, you can continue on doing all that stuff, but I would just say like whatever document that you're also working off of. So you have the description and the keywords or whatever else you want to put on the document. You can actually go to this document and say it's the keywords. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to put the keywords here because when you dump them in here, it's either fills all in one box and it gets a little confusing or it like, like fills in a whole bunch of these boxes and it's just maybe more difficult for you to do that. I like having all the keywords here, but I'm just trying to see or give you different options of doing this. So if you do have a document with keywords on it, you can hit the share thing, get the link, and then go edit, copy this link, and then you can put this also into this document. So this can be like your go-to document. So as long as you can find this one document, you should be able to find all the other documents related okay. to whatever's going on. All right, can you just, you're recording this on the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you just do that one more time slower? So even if I didn't have a document open and I wanted a document, for, so I'm doing these monogram journals. Yes. I have the landing zone, whatever information you wanna put here, you can put there, that's fine. 
now I want to start gathering keywords. You. Okay. Cecilia yeah. wants to gather keywords. Right. Now you can go to File, New, Document. Title this whatever you're going after, monogram or something, and then keywords. Mm -hmm. I'll just put mon keywords. You can put all those keywords. So you open up the wingman tool, you pull all the keywords, you can put them here. Okay, on this doc, on mm -hmm. the plain paper, not the, the boxes, okay. Yeah, you can do it either way. You can put them in here, but it's sometimes hard to keep the landing zone, all that stuff organized, and then the keywords okay. all on one sheet. So right. I'm just saying this is an, an additional solution right. if you don't want to just dump them all here. You can have a separate keyword and then it can be keyword one, two, three, four, five, just all the keywords, anything here. You can even have the description also on this sheet. Okay. So that anytime you make uh, one of these journals for this landing zone, you just open this document and then you can copy and paste all that stuff right to KDP. All right. So, so if you want to put the the, um, the name that you're going to put, the pen name, all the information that you could possibly put on KDP, put on this um, document. And you can almost set this up like a template. template. And then anytime you can just go back and use that template. Okay. So you know, oh, I need the description. I need the pen name. I need at least X amount of keywords. I need description. Right, because I have that to stuff keep clicking here. back to find out what information I'm supposed to put here. So after right. you have this set up, you can hit share. You hit share. And then this get shareable link. Okay. I know you always like to just click in these boxes and hit this, but go up here, share clickable link. And then this will be on view. For you, it doesn't matter. Even if you click on just view and you open it, you own the document so you can use it. But because we're going to be working with you, just try to change all the stuff to can edit. So okay. at any point, if you go, hey, can you look at this? You can just send me this link. Okay. So I would copy link here, clicking this button, it'll tell you that it linked. Go back here and then just control V or you can actually just paste it in however you want to do it. Okay. I have shortcuts on all my stuff, so I can do it with one hand. But that will be where all of this lives. That would be great. And then all the information is just on one document. So That's you can just find that better. one document without having to go to, like what we do is go to the Google Docs. And that's just way easier for us to Google, Google right. Drive. But so if one Excel sheet is easier for you, and then you could just have it with a ton of different tabs, a ton of different just link outs to everything. So now, okay, that's great because I had to, I had to, for every, for the 26, I had to, I wrote down the keywords that I was going to put in on my notebook. And then um, when I was in KDP uploading it, I had to hand type all those in, which was good because I had that open so I could look at it. That's but very then, time consuming. That is time consuming, but um, that would be good to have that sheet. Yeah, because you can just from our tool copy all that information and just paste it. All right, signing off. If you guys have any questions, definitely let us know. We'll do this again tomorrow. Okay. Uh, just answering your questions is really what this has come down to now. It's like I want to make sure that you feel like you understand the process and go, oh, now I have an idea. I can implement said idea so that when you go, oh, I want to make these prayer type journals. Now I know how to go find a landing zone. I kind of know what those customers want. I kind of know what the internal should look like. I know how to actually do the internals and the cover. And I know how to actually get a book up on KDP. I understand the process. And I have yeah, a system. Then the next thing that. is like to find my books and yeah, that's, refine it. That's yeah. all down in the future. Okay, because that's the part I feel like that's the next step. But apparently Just I don't know. A system a whole building bunch a system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just build a system, be consistent. And like any of those problems that you have, go, oh, this is taking too long. All of those, like, come to me, and then we'll try to figure it out. So just like I just made that, let me actually send this to you now before I forget. And then if this doesn't work for you, then we'll build a different way of doing this. Because you can even have these tabs, which I've set this up for you before, the tabs up top. That way you can at least find it and just go, oh, all of my monogram journals are going to be here. And then just keep it in tabs. And then when you're done with that, then you just delete that and you start another one. Okay. That's why I said there's a lot of solutions to, like, the organization I just want to find out which is the best one that works for you. Yeah. All right, guys, we will catch you tomorrow. Uh, me and Nathaniel are kind of just taking a break. 
this month kind of beat us up. So um, I think the next time me and him will do anything will be Monday. I'm going to try to game plan out next month, and then we're going to try to attack it again hard. But I think we're just both a little burnt out, so taking a break. But me and my mom will be here tomorrow and Friday, and then next time we go live will be Monday. Bye, guys. Take it easy.